Hello friends. Just want to check in with you, let you know I've been uh, hearing a song running through my mind for the last couple of days and it's uh, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning and great is his faithfulness. And actually that comes from Lamentations 3 uh, verses 22 and 23. But it's a great song. And so I've been thinking about God's love for us. And it's really powerful. So I started doing a study on the word love in the Greek. And actually, there are several words, but we're going to talk about three today. One of them is stergo, which means it is the love that exists between parents and children uh, and family members. So stergo is that love we have for family members. The second word is phileo. And that means or describes affection. It means affection. And it would be the example between a boyfriend and a girlfriend, affection between good friends that really know each other and accept each other unconditionally. Uh, so phileo is that affection that we have for warm relationships. And the only thing about that one, I was reading about that, is that uh, because it's a human uh, feeling, uh, there can be disappointments, and sometimes we have those with relationships and expectations we have from others. But the third love uh, that I want to talk about is agape love, and that is what God defines as his love for us. So let me read the definition to you. It says, um, it uh, is a love that has no strings attached. It isn't looking for what it can get, but for what it can give. It's all of the one who is loved is so deep that it is compelled to shower love upon that object or person regardless of the response. This is the profound love God has for the human race. For he loved man when he was still lost in sin with no ability to love him back. God simply loved mankind without any thought or expectation of receiving love in return. But how great now that because of Jesus Christ and receiving him in our lives and getting free from the sin that we carry for so long, that we are now in relationship with a Father God who loves us unconditionally. And may you experience God's love in a prof profound way this week. Love you.